Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me again today. For those who are new here today, my name is Helen and thank you for stopping by to spend some time with me. Today I wanted to share with you a few purchases that I've made over the last couple of weeks. Now some items I ordered online and others I stumbled across at a charity store some really great finds so stay with me and let me show you what I managed to pick up okay so the first item is this Crofton um, cast iron French pan and I actually picked this up at Aldi now it was the pretty purple color that attracted me. Um, from memory, I think it came in a, a creamy color and like a mint green, which was also very pretty, but it was this purple color that attracted me. And this is quite obviously a dupe for the Le Creuset cast iron cookware, um, but I paid $26.99 for this pan. And the equivalent in Le Creuset would oh, have me forking out $400 plus. So I'm just going to unbox it because I haven't actually taken it out of the box. Oh, it doesn't matter if I, if I break it because I do want to wash it and start using it. So here we go. Now, as with all cast iron cookware, this does feel uh, really heavy. I remember mum um, gifted me the whole set of the Lepreso cookware, the, the pots, the fry pans, the baking dishes um, when I was getting married for my kitchen tea, and it cost her an absolute fortune. Um, And they are, I mean, they're weighty items. And once you've actually put the food in there that you're cooking, they're even weightier. Oh, that's that's gorgeous. What a pretty colour. Isn't that lovely? So it's a 3.3 litre capacity. Um, just read out the details here. And it's a three layer enamel coating, which is great. And the thing I love most about this pan is that you can use it on any type of stove top. So you can use it on a gas stove top, which is what I've got here at the moment, an electric stove top, a glass ceramic um, stove, stove top, and even the induction stove top so big plus because there's so much cookware out there that you can only use on certain types of stove tops so um big plus and it's also oven safe up to 200 degrees celsius which is also another plus i'll just show you the inside looks exactly like the le Creuset, um cookware it's even the same color right as our, my I, uh, my set, the red set, the one that mum gifted me. But um, yeah, what a what a huge saving! It'll be really interested to see if it's as durable. I mean, the Le Creuset does cost an arm and a leg, but it it lasts and lasts. It just lasts forever. So um, yeah, I thought I'd pick this one up and see how durable this one is. So, $26.99 from Aldi, and that's the first item I wanted to share with you today. Okay, so the next item I wanted to share with you, I actually, um, my, my lovely friend Pamela and I are, are planning um, a little girl's holiday early next year a beachside holiday because it will be summer here in Australia um, and I came across these beach towels online 
um, from a company called Perfect House and I just thought they were so much fun. So there are heaps of different designs to choose from, first of all. Um, so you can choose different backgrounds. I chose like a beachy sunset uh, background and you actually personalize them. So I'll just show you Pamela's. So you, you pick um, the person's, the color of their hair, their hairstyle, their skin tone, and then what outfit you want them to have on. Um, so I'll just open up Pamela's. So Pamela's um, got gorgeous, you know, um, shoulder length, full wavy hair. Um, so just stand up to show you this. So I picked the short black curvy hairstyle for hers. And it's got, got her name at the top. And then you pick what outfit you want on there. So I picked the little um, denim shorts and the little crop top for Pamela. I also chose Sunny's for her. That, that's optional. You don't have to have sunglasses, but I thought that was a bit cute. It's a beach holiday. And what drink you want the person to carry. So I chose a cocktail for her. So I thought, how much? And these are like a really good size as well. So that's Pamela's. And I also got myself one. So obviously mine's got my name on the top of it. And obviously my hair is longer than Pamela's. It's straight and it's a lighter color. So I've got Sunny's on as well. And yes, I have a cocktail as well because mm -hmm. I wasn't gonna miss out on my cocktail. So, I just thought they were so much fun. So I'm going to give her, give her her towel as part of her Christmas present um, right. next month. So, and also, now the more you buy these towels, obviously the cheaper they get. Now I bought the two pack and how much did I pay for that one? Okay, so I paid $62.99. Uh, for the two pack and you know if you buy if you buy three or four or, or five and so on the price gets lower and lower now I will list all the details of these items down below in the description box um, and the websites and, and so on so you'll have all the information you need but there were so many different designs to choose from um, you know, there was somewhere, you know, the, the person was on a boardwalk or, you know, just, just go online and have a look. So many different designs. The other thing I chose for us were personalized tumblers because I thought, you know, we could take these along and stay hydrated while we're on our holiday. So I'll just pull out one because they're identical. So that's me and Pamela having a drink somewhere at a bar. We haven't decided where we're going yet. So yeah, wherever we decide to go. Now these, on, and on the back, it's so funny. It says friends and alcohol, the glue holding Oh, I don't know if I can say this. The glue holding the shit show together. So I thought that was hilarious. So I got us one each. And these two got cheaper the more you bought. So I paid, what did I pay for the, I paid $45.99 for, for the two of them. So they're made from food grade stainless steel inside. And apparently 
there is a double wall vacuum and you can use it for hot and cold drinks and it's guaranteed to keep the temperature of your drink for 24 hours so that'll be interesting to put to the test won't it and I don't know if I mentioned they hold 600 mils or 20 ounces um, which which is a fair size 600 mils is is a good size so and once again you pick the hair color you pick the hairstyle you pick what colored clothes you're each wearing what kind of drink you're having in this in this instance we're both having a glass of red wine so they yeah so i'll list those um as well and oh my god you would not believe the amount of different designs they have for the tumblers and not just for the friends but you know if you if you're buying one for a partner or a or a relative or ah uh, i'd say there are hundreds of different designs on there and they're all really really um really lovely clever funny a lot of them are funny like this one so i thought that those two items would make a great addition to pamela's christmas present this year so we've got our towel and we've got our tumbler to stay hydrated now we just have to decide where we're going and book that holiday okay so the next item i want to share with you is something i picked up in um, a charity store now the rest of the items that i will be sharing with you today are all from the charity store now this look at this isn't it gorgeous it's a photo box and i don't think it's a vintage box i think it's been designed to resemble a vintage photo box and it's got these frames all around on the sides and on the front and on the lid at the moment they've just got the the black and white print that came with the box itself i'm planning to remove those obviously and put photos of my boys in them and when you open it I'll just show you the inside now these are actual little photo little individual photo albums that pull out and they've got these little sleeves that you can put photos in and then they just slot back in What am I doing wrong? There you go. Slot back in and they actually slide from side to side. Got a little groove there for your finger so you can slide them from side to side and pick which one you want. Now there are six of those little albums in there. And if you push them all to the side, there is also a little bit of spare room um, that you can you know put some other photos in there or maybe you've got some special little keepsakes that you want you want to put in there and I, I just thought that was gorgeous I couldn't resist it just looked old world and I love it and that I paid $35 for this and when I saw it I knew straight away I wanted it Whereas with a lot of other things, being indecisive, I am an R and I'm an R. But this, yeah, I knew straight away. Isn't it beautiful? Love. Okay, I might have to stand up for this one. But the next item I purchased at the charity store was this framed print. I just want to hold it up. I'm going to have to stand up for this one, I think and it's called seven stages of man it's by edward george handel lucas and i paid 140 dollars for this framed print 
and I did my research with this one and I went online and had a look and you would have to pay substantially more just for the print and this is so framed so so well and it's even got the title there I, I just think it's been done so well and this really moved me this print and I, I just had to have it now as you can see starts off with a little pair of hand knitted baby booties and it goes right through to these worn pair of adult slippers at the end here and in between there are all you know different shoes and boots representing the different stages of a man's life and these boots that you know a center stage and stand tall and proud here in the center of this print to me represent you know the time of life where uh, the man was at his at his strongest so um yeah i don't know it just really moved me and and i had to have it it, it actually makes me quite emotional so um yeah i bought that and i i plan to hang that above our fireplace downstairs so the next few items that i picked up at the charity store are clothing items because well, I had to I had to look through the clothes and I was really really fortunate because um, as with you know the print and um, the the photo box now those those items are things that someone else has donated um, so they are secondhand but um with the clothes I was lucky because as well as secondhand clothes, a lot of um, a lot of charity stores also get corporate donations from companies, um, and they're brand new clothes that, um, for one reason or another, the companies are are donating and not selling in store. So I was able to pick up um, a few of those items. So they were brand new; they still had tags on them. And I want to share those with you now. Okay, so these are the first two items of clothing that I picked up from the charity store. Let's start with the skirt. Um, as you can see, it is a maxi length skirt, um, A-line. And it is a rayon and spandex mix, so it has, has heaps and heaps of stretch. Um, it does have an elasticized waist and a functioning drawstring and these wonderful pockets now this skirt in my opinion is a casual style skirt so I've just put a pair of um, the casual little slides on with the skirt nice and comfy and this shirt this is gorgeous this shirt is a hundred percent cotton so it's going to be lovely in the warmer months ahead here in Oz it's got these really cute bell sleeves and it's got a soft collar and it actually comes down in a little bit of a V and that's where the buttons begin. Now I've tied it up here because I just like the look of it tied up with this particular skirt but I'll just undo that so you can get an idea of how long the shirt is. So it is quite long so long enough to you know if you wanted to wear it with a pair of skinny jeans or with some leggings perfect length for that but I just liked it tied up with this skirt now this skirt I paid $19 for this skirt um, something similar in store would be $79.99 and I paid $14 for the shirt 
and something similar in store I'd be paying um, $59.99 for. So really good buys, lovely neutral colours, we'll go back with anything and I'm, I'm really, really happy with both of these items. Now I did pick up two more tops uh, from the charity store, um, so I'll just go and put the first one on and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so this is another top I bought from the charity store. Uh, once again, it was brand new with tags. Um, I was lucky enough to pick it up for $14 um, in store. I would be looking at paying about 50. Now it's this pretty apricot color, which is gorgeous. And it does have a little bit of a texture to it. And it's got these strips of lace coming down the front. So I'll just come up a little bit closer just so that you can see that. Really pretty color. Lovely soft um, apricot color. So heaps of room can be worn. I've just put a pair of my jeans on. Um, I wouldn't wouldn't be able to tell you where I bought them. I've had them for so long. I can't even remember where I got them. But um, yeah, so and this fabric, I mean, you can wear it out loose like this. It's got like three quarter sleeves with a little bit of elastic there, bringing it all together. Really light and cool, but. The fabric is really, really soft. So if you wanted to tuck this shirt in, um, you could very easily do that. So yeah, isn't that lovely? Another nice cool top for summer. And for our last top. Now, isn't this shirt beautiful? This is 100% cotton and it's got this beautiful broidery on glaze down the front of it, but it's not see-through because the front of the shirt, even though, I mean, it would have been see-through if, if um, it hadn't been lined. So the front of the shirt is lined. And isn't that pretty? Look how pretty that is. So pretty. And that's continued. There's like a yoke at the back of the shirt and that embroidery. Uh, and on glazes continued around the back of the shirt really lovely length too now this shirt I mean I, I guess you could tuck it in if you wanted to but I, I think that I would find it too bulky to tuck in um, but I, I like it sort of comes up on the sides so it looks really nice the sleeves they're elbow length and they, they're puffy and they've got a, a little cuff on the end of them and they've also got a tab so that little button there there's actually a tab and you can actually make them you know shorter if if you choose to so I think this is absolutely gorgeous and you could dress this shirt right up by wearing it with a you know a nice dressy pair of uh, pants or a pencil skirt um, really, really lovely shirt. This is a, this is gorgeous. Now I paid $15 for this shirt, but for something similar in store, I would be paying $69.99. So another great buy. I mean, like I said, these items are probably, you know, discontinued, you know, um, for whatever reason, they're not, able to sell them in store they haven't been able to move them or whatever and they've donated them but you know lucky us to pick them up so um yeah and that's the last item in this um video so they were just items i really really wanted to share with you all today um i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you found the items um interesting Please let me know down below which item was your favourite. I'm hard pressed. I mean, you know how I feel about fashion. So I love the fashion, but that print for me, um, I don't know. It just sort of melts me a little bit. So I think that's my favourite in, um, in this shopping haul. So um, if you did enjoy the video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already done so 
and hit the notification bell so you know next time I upload a new video. So in the meantime, stay safe. Have a wonderful week. I'll see you all very soon. Bye for now.